if a woman in this game lies or, or cheats or steals, then she's fake and phony and a bitch. If I were a man and I made all the moves I made, I would be, I would be strategic. But because I'm a woman, I'm a bitch. Cass, you're a mother and you have no integrity. And you lie. And you lie to people's faces. And you stab people in the back. And what kind of example does that set for your daughter? It's a gender bias and it holds me back, it holds other women back from playing the game the way we should be allowed to play the game. I never liked Cass from the first time I met her. I'm telling you, Cass is gonna hate her life here shortly if she's the one to flip, because it's gonna get nasty. I think that everybody needs to respect women because they're all our mothers and they're our daughters, and that's what we gotta sit back and realize. Shouldn't you feel about it as a human being? What happens? If men don't have a wife and children, would you, do they reach the same compassionate conclusion? Um, I know that women can do anything that a man could do, especially in Survivor. And there's a lot that goes on in Survivor that does relate outside, and strong women like Sarah is bringing it to light. So can you explain what happened tonight? Yeah, Joe went home. My plan didn't line up with your guys' plan. And you didn't want and to I'm tell not us gonna, that. And I'm not going to tell you guys. Yeah, right. I had your back since day one. Listen to me. Anybody who goes against you, Chrissy, is all of a sudden the bad man. Oh my God, you're such a jerk, Ben. Oh my gosh, I seriously not never sorry. expected you can't mother this from me right you. now, Chrissy. Why am I you, mothering you? you? To do I don't tell everyone. my kids a jerk. And his response was inhuman. So as a man, are you starting to reappreciate and reevaluate how you would label people even in this game? Um, no, I, I, I'm not reappreciating it or reevaluating it because I already know it. I see it in real life. I see it at my workplace. I see it everywhere. We all know it. And they've been in that water long. Dad, she's got her own plans, I see. What? She's the working girls? all the girls. Yeah, you don't see how she's sitting yeah. down with all the She's best friends now with all the girls. I find this idea of a women's lines so sexist. Tash is still here. It's still four girls. With Spencer gone, it's only two guys now. It's very easy to see. It's four against two. They could pick us off one by one. So you know what? I have to turn on one of the females in my alliance. The amount of fear in Survivor about a women's alliance outpaces the number of times there's actually been a women's alliance. It's four girls and three guys. They might be up to something. They might want to make a power move. Tony, we are in a cultural shift, and it's beautiful and it's powerful. But to Sarah's point, men have never had to deal with a lot of the labels. I do know why Tasha voted for Wu. Um, there was an incident where Tony was a little bit of a jerk to Tasha. He had this moment where he says, you know, Tasha, you want to start an all girls alliance? Why don't you, why don't you go make a fire? Uh, none of you women can make a fire, so why don't you go make a fire? And every time Tasha tried to say like, well, hold on, Tony's like, go make a fire, go make a fire. And he just kind of came off as a, a bit of a jerk. Excuse me, ladies. Does somebody want to watch the fire while I get water, or does somebody want to go get the water while I do the fire? Okay, okay. Not for me, boss. The girls, don't do anything. We need to cook it pretty it, soon, though, because if not, it will go bad. Okay. And we don't need to waste food. Okay. Get your ass up and cook it then. He's such a. I mean, just absolutely not likable. He's a bully. He is. Let me own my part. I'm certain right now, if I were to look back at all of the comments I have made over 20 years, I would find the exact same bias in me. You know, there just aren't as many colorful women characters in Survivor history. Given the choice of Tyson or Boston Rob over, say, Courtney, I think 99 out of 100 people would probably pick Tyson or Boston Rob. No disrespect. Thank you, Jeffrey. Anorexic eating disorder, what's the deal? Answer the question. Well, Jeff. When we look at bringing women back, we are left with saying, if they have to carry the show themselves, are they strong enough? I will not be defeated by a gender bias. I can't even look at her. I just want to punch her sometimes. <laughs>